What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are installing the Bluetooth adapter on my 2005 Touareg. So this is a kit I ordered from Amazon. Um, I will have a link in the description down below, but um, looks pretty simple. It has a little adapter for the CD changer part of the uh, Touareg. Um, this looks like uh, the actual control module with the connector, audio basics. And then we also have the microphone, because I believe you can use this to talk on your phone too. Auxiliary cable. And then this guy is, looks like a, just an extended USB. So uh, let's try to put it in. Now here is the interior uh, radio for my 2005 Touareg. A um, uh, quick tip is if you have these soft buttons, you definitely want to uh, put some tape on the bottom right here because when the radio does come out it's gonna scuff up the top of the bun so um, put some little a little bit of painters tape you should be okay mine came with the navigation option but I'm pretty sure um, the kit works with either or uh, if you have a CD as long as you have a CD changer you should be okay another tool you'll also be needing uh, specific for Volkswagen are these little keys now um, they basically go into the four corners of your radio you see these little slots and um, that is what will help you pull the radio out. There is no screws like a Japanese car or anything like that. These guys were sold separately, so I'll have a link in the description down below. So the kit comes with four of these guys. You'll need all four. Basically what you wanna do is with the, uh, I guess like the shaved side uh, pointing inwards, put it into your radio like so until it clicks and then again with the other side the uh, shave side inward like this into the top one Let's see if I can do this there it goes it clicks same thing with the bottom it goes and then last but not least there we go so what should happen now is you'll be able to pull the whole radio out just like that you want to remove these little knife things um, just because they might damage your interior you know the soft touch buttons or whatever and to remove these guys is actually really simple you see uh, this little tab right here get a better shot of this this little tab right here basically you push it over like that and you should be able to pull the key out can't really do it with one hand but um, yeah push the little tab inward and that's the same for all four sides then you'll be able to pull these little keys out so let me do that once all four keys are removed then you can gently slide the head unit out now be careful on the back there are still some connectors so um, we're gonna have to uh, unhook all of these real quick just to show you real quick this little white and brown one at the end what you want to do they go in like this they are in here like that so all you need to do is push this little tab on the back you see it right there push it down like that inward towards the wire and then it pops right out same thing with the blue one right there now for the big one the big one you actually have to release this uh, little lever Let's see if we do it right here there's a little tab at the bottom if you can see that it's right in the center of the thing so you want to push the tab down and then you can release the lever down and then the lever comes up so once it comes up you can pull the whole uh, plug out. So let me do that real quick. Got the plug removed. Um, technically to install this, you don't even need to take out this guy unless you wanna remove the whole radio just cause. But um, to remove it, there's this little tab right there. Push it down and then the whole thing swings out. So down and then the arm swings out. 
which releases from the radio and you can pull it out like that. What we're interested in is the CD changer uh, part of the plug um, on this, which is the blue one. Um, it snaps out from the back. If you can see that right there, you push the little tab down and then pull out. In place of that, we're gonna have this guy, which is um, what came in the kit. Now this is gonna act as a CD changer and this part at the end is gonna plug into the uh, Audio Basics box, the Bluetooth unit. So um, let me uh, put all this together and um, see if it works. So to hook up this box, there is not only the plug, but there is also one lone ground wire. Now um, this would be perfect if you can hook it up to the uh, one of these screws on the back of the radio, but unfortunately I don't have the, uh, si uh, the exact size uh, Torx for that. It's something smaller than a t uh, T10. So instead of that, I decided to take out that screw right there. So on that side, you can see there's a screw right there, but on this side, it's missing as because I took it out already. It's right here and we are going to ground it there. So uh, make sure you do that or else your Bluetooth system will not work. So now we have everything plugged in. Um, Let's give it a shot. So it's already in CD mode. It looks like it's reading the CD changer. Um, it's got one to, one to six already in there. So let's see on my phone. Bluetooth. M Costa, let's try it out. Okay, so it says connected. I heard a little beep. Um, ooh, there we go. So that's working. Um, not really familiar with the Volkswagen system yet, but to change songs maybe? Maybe over, that's volume. Okay. So yeah, uh, I guess the key has to be in for the volume, but um, it looks like it's working. Sound is pretty good. Let's try next song. Yeah, sound is not bad. And um, let's see if I do CD2, does it make a difference? Nope. So one through six, I assume, will be the same. I'll just read from the Bluetooth device. That's kind of nice. Okay, so the Bluetooth is working really well. With the key on, you can actually adjust the volume from the steering wheel still. And also, you can actually skip tracks. So if you move, if you scroll up, it goes to the next song. If you scroll back, it, it uh, backtracks. It basically... Um, to the previous track. So that's actually a pretty cool feature that they have on this Bluetooth. It works exactly like the CD changer. Now for the phone feature, I've actually noticed something cool as well. So let me try to call myself and show you. So now my phone is ringing and all I have to do to answer is scroll down. And then you can see it's already in the phone call. And to hang up, scroll up, and the music comes back on. You can actually scroll up or press on the uh, little scroll. Um, it does the same thing to hang up the phone. Now, if someone's calling you and you don't want to answer, so let's try that. I'm going to call myself. It's calling. And you don't want to answer, all you got to do is scroll up and it ends the uh, call. The music continues playing. Pretty cool. Now let's put all this back together. There we go, everything installed and I put the little uh, microphone for the uh, phone system right there. So um, hopefully it works good. Um, and um, I will probably be doing a uh, review video on this guy maybe in like a few weeks just to see how everything goes and how everything works. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and 
For more Touareg content and videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.